So I am going to show how to change colors and carry them throughout your work in this video. If you're coming because of the mitten pattern that I released, this is gonna be super helpful because you wanna have crisp color changes and you also don't wanna have a bunch of loops in the back since it's a mitten that you're gonna be sliding your hand in and out of. Having loops that you'd catch on would be really annoying. So to start, when you are color changing, you want to have the last loop of the stitch actually be in the color that you are going to be using on the next stitch. So for here, I am just finishing the end of a row and instead of slip stitching with the same color I've been using, I'm gonna slip stitch with the first color of the stitch in my next row. So I am doing my slip stitch with my lighter green, which is my second color. And that will be what remains on my hook going into the new row. Okay, so now I'm gonna be using each color for about three stitches. Obviously I have my chain to start this row, but what we need to do is we need to, first of all, hide this tail from the beginning of this new color. And to do that, you're just gonna set the string on top of your stitches so that as you go in and wrap around them, they get hidden inside of the stitch and there aren't any loops on the back. So here I am at the end of my third stitch. Before I do my last pull through and leave my final loop, I'm going to switch now to my next color. I'm gonna be alternating white and light green on this row. So for starting this new color, I just have a slip knot like I would with a normal chain and it kind of takes some some practice to figure out how to hold things so that they're tight enough but not super super tight so clean up this a little bit but my goal is to have the white be my final loop like this on my hook now i've got quite a bit that i'm going to be carrying because i've got two tails plus i have the previous color so let me just get through and kind of get past these tails quick. Um, or if you want, you can just watch and see how I have them sitting on top of the stitches. And I'm just kind of going around them so that way they are hidden inside the stitch as I'm going. Okay, really briefly, I'm just gonna show you why you need to have the last loop of the previous stitch be the one that changes to color to the new color so if i just continued on with white went to the next stitch and then did my green you'll see here what you're going to have is you're going to have a little bit of the white on the top of that next stitch it's hard to tell here i know with the lighting but that little white is going to peek into the next color which isn't going to make it a nice crisp color chain So that's pretty much all there is to the color changing. Um, and you can do this for if you are changing colors on the same row, just back and forth. You can do this if you are changing colors from the end of a row with a slip stitch to the next one, both of which you're gonna need to do in this pattern. Um, but you really wanna make sure that you master that color carry in the stitch. Because like I said, this is a mitten that you're gonna be sliding your hand into. And if you don't, you're gonna end up with loops on the inside every time you change a color. Like you can see, I have them just going from one row to the next. There's a little loop that jumps up because I can't carry it in a stitch there. But if those were going all the way across from side to side, your fingers would get stuck on it and I just think it would be really annoying. So carrying the color, is super important 
You just need to make sure that your tension is right. You want it to be tight enough that it's not sticking out of the stitches, but you want to be loose enough that it's not causing the mitten to feel really, really tight. So give it some practice. Don't be afraid to pull it out and do it over again. Um, if you're sticking your hand into it and it feels like it's too much tension and then you can go back and you can undo it again. But the first row is the most annoying because you're getting past those tails. After that, it's just the one string that you're carrying throughout each row. So it's not too bad. Anyways, I hope this helped. If you have any questions, you can leave them below. Message me on Instagram, uh, whatever works best for you. And happy crocheting.